played their first game yet, so there's a decent chance we're going to see another player drop 30 in a season opener on Thursday. We haven't been together in a while. We better have something on ice. Yeah. <laughs> Bruins and Flyers for Whitewater Billy from Philly and Philly Dan Dunn, Keith Yandel, Scott Lawton, rebound goal for the Flyers. That was two minutes into the second. The Flyers up 3-1. Take another look. Lawton wide open in front and lights the lamp. Minute left in the second. The Fonz is watching. Bruins down 3-2. Charlie McAvoy wraparound. It's pasta night. No, it's not. Brad Marchand, though. He puts it in. Third time's a charm. He gets the puck in the goal. Where's Barry Melrose? Game tied at three, going into the third. But in the third, it's all flyers, baby. Joel Farabee to Cam Atkinson. He's going to get a goal right here. His second of the night. The Flyers are going to win it 6 3. That's 6 3. They're 2 0 oh 1 on the season, outscoring their opponents 16 8. Wow. The Flyers with a hot start through three as ESPN is back into the NHL. All right, so Portland Trailblazers. Yeah. You're going to be doing studio for road games. I'm going to be doing some correctly. studio stuff for road games. ESPN kind enough to let me go do that, and Portland dumb enough to let me do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've been reading some stuff about it. The folks in the Pacific Northwest absolutely thrilled oh, to I'm, have the homie doing the game. I'm thrilled too, man. It'll be fun. Let's go Rip City, baby. All right. Thanks for watching. This is Sports Center AM. A wild Wednesday in the NBA. Why the Knicks spelled double trouble for the Celtics and the comeback you have to see to believe that left one team stung. Plus, LA and Boston on the brink. Why a 20 year anniversary left neither team celebrating and how one opponent is ready to party like it's 1999 and the trade deadline fast approaching. What's next for Deshaun Watson's football future? That's ahead on SportsCenter. I just have one scotch and go to, go to sleep. <laughs> A morning it is here on Sports Center. Kelsey Riggs alongside Randy Scott. The NBA is back, and we will see something from every single NBA game, Randy. She promised, so it's going to happen, including we'll see some familiar faces back in Madison Square Garden. The Celtics are in town, and for the Celtics, you're going against Julius Randle. You're also going against that MSG crowd. It was madness, and then there was a packed house there to see it. You see Kemba Walker going against his former mates. We'll also see Evan Fournier. That's a promise for now. It's the Bronx native Kemba making his Knicks debut. Mom's in the crowd. Ten points in the box score. Knicks have an eight-point lead. But we're getting good late. It's a five-point game. Go ahead and cut that to three. Jalen Brown was just getting started. He was dealing with COVID lead and Spike is dapper as always. But then it's Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown creating space in a four-point game. Let's cut it to one. Pull up from the logo. Mm-hmm. Fourth career 40 point game. He carried us, said Jason Tatum. Here's what happened next. You get two bang bangs with Captain Hook there looking on. Bang a rang as you kick it to Marcus Smart. Wing extended. It's a triple. Spike Lee nonplussed. But listen, more for your money. Bonus basketball for that ticket. Let's go to overtime. The first one. We're tied at 125. Fournier to the block to RJ Barrett. Hello from the outside for Barrett. He had 19. The Knicks are back up three. On the other end for Boston, keep an eye on Robert Williams, not just in the highlight, but this season. The Time Lord in tight kicks it to Tatum. 
corner triple, all tied at 128. Tatum was just 2 of 15 from distance, so not the best shooting night. Oh, you need proof? How about that? That was way off. He missed 23 shots. First time he's missed 20 in a game, and because of that miss, we go to double OT in this second bonus frame. Celts by one. It's Brown with the steal. Brown with the missed dunk. What? He had four. one point lead on the free throw, but here comes Fournier. Something he didn't do in a Celtics uniform. And he went for 32 points. Big three there. The Knicks have a two point. <laughs> Did we get a shoot <laughs> from Julius Randle? All right. Savor the flavor for what we saw at MSG. First double overtime game in a season opener since 2006. And these two teams combined for 272 points. Second most in a season opener in NBA history, trailing only the 320 between the Warriors and Nuggets on November 2nd, 1990. Opening day for the Sixers and the excitement of starting the season overshadowed by the drama of the offseason. Philly star Ben Simmons suspended just one day before after refusing to participate in a practice drill. Simmons wants a trade. The Sixers want him to play. Doc Rivers wishes we were talking about basketball. When you're put in positions like yesterday or in general, this whole it's, it's no fun, that part of it. Um, but you don't give up the fight that you can get it right. We get to play right now, Ben's not. I want Ben to be playing. Um, you know, that's his job. Um, I don't like any player losing money. Like, there's so many things about this that I don't like. Uh, but that doesn't mean you still don't have to do your job, and that's the tough part. So we will see how that plays out for now, though. Pelicans hosting 76ers. No Ben Simmons. They did have, though, Joel Embiid, and that was a big deal. First quarter, Embiid steps into the three-pointer on the wing, knocks it down, and there is more coming. Next possession, Embiid, pump fake. Okay, take it inside. Off the defender, drives in, finishes the layup. Embiid, game high 12 points in the first quarter. We head to the fourth. Embiid starts on the bench, 6.76 ers lead. Furkan Korkmaz hits the three pointer, 76ers with the nine point lead. Next possession, guess what? More from Korkmaz. Another three pointer drills it. It's quickly a 12 point lead for the 76ers. Seven minutes to play. Pelicans trailing. Brandon Ingram with the turnover. That's not the way to turn things around. Korkmaz was feeling it. Pulls up again. Finished with 18 points in the fourth quarter. 22 in the game. 76ers win it 117 to 97. Joel Embiid, he had 22 points and six rebounds. So no shortage of scoring in this game. Tobias Harris and Tyrese Maxey each dropped 20 points. That gave the Sixers four players who scored 20 in the season opener for the first time in franchise history. They're just the third team over the last 25 years to do that in a season opener, joining the Timberwolves in 1997 versus the Warriors and the Pelicans in 2018. Still ahead here on SportsCenter, a wild comeback in the NBA, left the ball in Hornets court. Full highlights in just moments.